Hello everyone, this is Taryn with Wonderfully Made Handcrafting and welcome back to Hymn Stories. Today we're talking about one of my favorite hymns, He Will Hold Me Fast, which was written by Ada Habershon, who is friends with Charles Spurgeon and lived from 1861 to 1918. But there is more of a story than just that on this hymn. So for more of this story, we can go back to 1902, where American evangelist R.A. Torrey and his musical director, Charles Alexander, were touring around Australia, where they met a talented young pianist, Robert Harkness. Now, Harkness was not saved at the time, and he actually writes about this, saying, I was not interested in evangelistic meetings, indeed. I was rather opposed to them, but the thought struck me that perhaps my good father and mother would be pleased if I took part in these meetings, and I consented. I hadn't been in the first meeting 10 minutes before I found it was going to be decidedly warm, much warmer than I had expected. Mr. Alexander announced hymn number seven, and I was soon playing a two-line hymn with an old Southern melody. I was not deeply interested and played it in an offhand way. In playing through the glory song, when I came to the chorus, I closed the book. I had memorized it quickly and improvised an accompaniment to the chorus to try to displease Mr. Alexander. But instead of displeasing him, he turned around and looked at me and said, Keep it up. Keep it up. This is what we want. So I kept on. The next time we had the chorus, I played a full octave accompaniment, thinking he would surely be upset. But he was not there to be upset. At the close of the meeting, Dr. Tory asked me if I was a Christian. I straightened up and said, no, I'm here to play the piano. Dr. Tory left me and went away to pray for me, I think. After that, Charles Alexander, the musical director, reached out to Harkness and Harkness ended up being saved and ended up joining the traveling musical group for R.A. Tory's evangelistic meetings. So this meant that Robert Harkness started traveling the world with R.A. Torrey and playing piano for his evangelistic meetings. Four years later, in 1906, the team was in Toronto, Canada, where a newly saved young man came up to Harkness and expressed concern about his inability to quote-unquote hold out. Harkness yearned for this man to understand that his holding did not fall on himself, but rather it was Christ that held us. And so he wanted to encourage the man with a song and wrote a letter to famous hymn writer Ada Habershon, who wrote, He Will Hold Me Fast for the Man. Soon after, this hymn circulated through small leaflets and booklets and spread throughout revival meetings. Although it was initially very popular, it ended up kind of dwindling out mid-20th century until recently when Matt Merker of Capitol Hill Baptist Church ended up creating a new tune to the hymn. Someone in Merker's congregation actually gave him an original copy of the song, and he writes, I forgot about this song for a while, but later pulled it out again when I was walking through a difficult personal season of doubt and uncertainty. I was wrestling with the hard questions of the faith and struggling to place my trust in the enduring power of God's preserving grace. John Piper's sermon from T4G 2012 on Jude verses 20 through 25 was a lifeline for me, and Jude 24 became an anchor for my soul in that trying time. Now to him who is able to keep you from stumbling and present you blameless before the presence of his glory with great joy. I pulled out, he will hold me fast again, and the words ministered to me deeply. I wanted to see the resurrection and return of Christ featured in the lyrics, since our hope is guaranteed by the reality that Christ has risen and is coming again. I first shared the song with my wife and then with our pastor, and he suggested we should try singing it as a congregation. We introduced the song to CHBC early in 2013, and their church quickly owned the song and began singing it with joy and really loud voices. Merker ended up doing a couple of minor alterations to the song, including taking Habershon's original four stanzas and combining them down to two, and then he also added an additional stanza to the song. It was first published through Capitol Hill, and now today you can hear it in churches across the country, as well as a couple of um, popular recording artists have done their own rendition, including Shane and Shane and Keith and Kristen Getty. So that is it for today's hymn stories. I hope you enjoyed hearing about the story on He Will Hold Me Fast. And as I finish up working on this pocket card for my pocket Bible, I am just adding a little bit of Distress Crayon to the foundry wax. Now this is that new Tim Holtz foundry wax. It is excellent stuff, really fun to work with. Um, but I just wanted to age it up just a little bit so that Distress Crayon works excellent for that. 
I use this bird ephemera piece because God even takes care of the birds of the air. And then I also added this little stamp to remind me that Robert Harkness ended up writing a letter over to England to Ada Habershon to end up writing this hymn. There was a little bit of pink in this bird ephemera piece and I really wanted to add it in because I took a lot of it out by putting that title down. Um, so I ended up taking out this very light pink lace and I am folding it and stapling it with my tiny attacher and then I will place that underneath the title. Now at first I ended up gluing this all down with my Barely Arts Precision Glue. However, I did come back in with my Fabri-Tac glue so I didn't have to just sit there and hold it down. That Barely Arts glue probably would have worked and probably would have held down that lace. I would have just had to hold it for quite a while and so that Fabri-Tac glue does come in handy for certain situations like that. Now I did feel like this title was missing something a little bit next to the word fast since it is so far over to the right. And so I grab one of the mini clips from Tim Holtz and I'm just going to slip that on to the bottom portion and it actually works really well in my mindset as paper clips hold things together. So that was a great little addition for me um, and my thought process on this song. Now originally when I had written this out on my typewriter I did make a mistake and so I had two cards and so instead of just throwing one away I decided to glue them back to back. Um, you won't be able to see the one that I messed up on and it adds a little bit of sturdiness to this card. So that is it guys for Hymn Stories this week. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please like and subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me over on Instagram at Wonderfully Made Handcrafting. I'll try to link some of the items I use down below, so check out that description, and I hope you have a wonderful day, guys. Bye.